How are you feeling being here tonight? It's been nice. It's been really, really nice seeing all my castmates, seeing everybody, seeing how the festival is being ran. Like, yeah. and then it's the Chinese theater. Like, yeah. I think this is my first time being inside of like the actual theater. So it's been like a really dope experience. So, yeah. Well, what does it mean for you to be a part of a film quite like this? Talk to me about that. I mean, for it to be my second film, you know, after coming off of uh, Winning Time, like a studio buzzy you know big thing for me to be able to do a, a, a character like this in a film like this where it's very um subtle and very like meaningful and we have a message behind it it's been really important to me because that's what got me wanting to do um film and television in the first place and and you know theater like that that's really where i come from but like yeah i just love like stuff that have a message behind it so like for me to be able to play Brandon and like be able to have the social justice component to it. So you know, I hope that I'm able to continue doing that in my, throughout my career. Yeah. Now, from an actor's point of view, when you were coming into this process, what is it that attracted you to the project in the first place? Was it the character? Was it the commentary that's affiliated with the film? It could be a combination of things, but what yeah. was it for you that you were like, oh yeah, Grasslands, this is this is it, this is a good match for me? No, it's definitely the uh, character and uh, the social justice, the social justice component of like being able to have formerly incarcerated people on set, knowing that they were there would be a campaign associated with the film to like try and get people out of prison for low-level marijuana offenses when there's over 30, 40,000 people still locked up while people are making billions of dollars off this stuff. So it's like having all of that combined with a character that I get to like you know like bring some life to and like change maybe people's percep perceptions about like a drug dealer you know that meant a lot about like it meant a lot to me so yeah you're good at this you're good at you're good at the interview and I like it this is like my fifth one so I'm like I should be good but uh, <laughs> My final question to you is, what are you hoping that the audience walks away talking about, resonating with after seeing this film? What kind of, what do you think they're going to be chit-chatting about? I mean, granted, like, and I said this earlier, like, I hope that people, like, feel inspired to, like, write a letter or talk to their, you know, representatives or whatever. But, like, honestly, my thing is, like, just changing your perceptions about people. Like, if you hear about somebody going to prison or you hear about this person doing this thing, and, or even like somebody with views different than yours. Like, just understanding that's a human being and that's a person with their own lived experiences, and you don't know what they're going through. So like, I think just being a little kinder, you know, with our thoughts with other people is like very important to me, so yeah. Thank you so much for speaking with us and congratulations on everything that, that you've been accomplishing so far. And thank you again so much for your time. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it.